Robert Killian, 2015 Spartan Race World Champ, a professional obstacle course racer, and just uh, became an ambassador for Lock Laces. Yeah, so a normal training week for me, especially for obstacle course racing, can be very tricky. You know, I, I've been doing triathlon, I've been doing military focused training in the past, but this is a sport that combines all three aspects of endurance, strength, and speed, but you also need grit and other grip strength specific workouts, you know, that, that really focus on what you're going to be facing in an obstacle course race, which is one of the things that keeps it really exciting is no course is the same, everything's always different, but you know you're going to see these carry obstacles where you're going to have to carry either like heavy logs or, you know, farmer carries or buckets or sandbags. And then you got to go into, you know, Hercoise where you're just, you know, lifting up a massive bag with a rope. But you also have to be ready to climb 3,000 plus feet of elevation gain over a 10 to 12 mile course, uh, even longer at the World Championships this year was 17 miles. So it's really a, a focus of being able to balance those endurance long runs with focused um, circuit training either in the gym or a lot of functional fitness like we like to call it today where you're actually out there doing stuff with sandbags or you're out there doing practical workouts you know you can just do in your garage or even with a log or you know just something in nature and that's one of the things I like about obstacle course racing is it, it makes us more human we're out there doing human things on a course you know you're, you're built to run jump swim crawl climb you know and then I think it's a uh, one of the sports that kind of tests the limits of you know the human body and really defines you know who is the most elite out there like who has you know the best strength or speed and is the best across all domains not necessarily one and I think it kind of comes together all in the end.